minute in, first quarter action, Essendon VFL Radio. The big men go up. Nice take by the Bombers, shrugged the tackle, Fantasia comes back out the back. Alex Brown, second touch, kicks it up forward, we've got the mark. Kicking to the bay end of the ground, Paddy Ambrose comes in. Approaches, not a bad kick. Just comes in on the breeze. I reckon he's got it through. That's the first on the board for the Dons. Essendon. Kick long into the hot spot. The big men fly and the Bombers have got it in front. Hardingham comes in and kicks truly. That's the Bombers second. Doesn't matter. Umpire tosses it up. Essendon get the clearing kick to half forward. Good work, handball, inboard, kick it, goal, and that is Connor McKenna. For the hapless Dolphins, they have struggled all year, at least competitive last week against Coburg, still looking for their first win of 2015 as the Bombers go inside 50 once more. Ambrose shrugged off a couple tacklers, got the hand pass out, another certain goal coming up, Schroeder will finish it for Essendon. And taken on the, uh, is Benny McNeese on the halfback flank? Winning board toward the middle of the ground. Mark was taken there by McLeod. Oh. Long, deep and direct. And the mark is taken by Jacob Thompson. Left football's on its way from Jacob Thompson. That's off the side of the boot, but I don't oh, think no. it matters. Didn't hit it perfectly, but it still gets six. And, well, I don't know how to describe that last 30 seconds <laughs> of footy, but it wasn't footy. It wasn't footy. It was just a movement of the ball. Was kicked to half back. Ambrose goes for the mark. Can't take it. Bombers working the ball out. Chain of handballs. Long kick inside 50. Man on his own. Oh, almost takes it one. It's three on two here. This is all the mighty Bombers. And slam through for a goal to Daniel Willis. And that will come toward this broadcast side oh. and turn it over. Cole Hardingham takes, well, an uncontested intercept mark in the end and he's taken it. 30 will, get, will be a game Ooh, high as well. Through. And Hardingham makes no mistake. He's at the fall, needs to get rid of it. The tackler came there and put a lot of pressure on him there. Did Newman and Tipping Woody will eventually mark inside 50, but he's tucked up against the toughest pocket. So the wind will help. But as I said, goals are quite rare from that sort of region. But nothing's <laughs> impossible for Anthony Tipping Woody. Inside 50 we go for the Bombers. Thompson tried to tap it on and did successfully and then got it back. Won the 1 2 and eventually found Heaviside. Former uh, Bendigo pioneer Sam Heaviside. Will come in. 20 out. Kicks through the ball and the goal umpire Sorry. slightly moved to his right. Now the, uh, the cavalry come. The Bombers. Little kick out forward. Spots up a man and he's got him. O'Brien plays on straight away. Beautiful work to Elliot Kavanagh. Two players we mentioned at halftime. Gives it a fair old go. A little bit of left to right and gets it over the line. That's the first of the third quarter. McKernan goes in board. Lays off the handball to McNeese. One bounce. Two bounce. Kick forward. They need a mark. Front and score. Oh, gee, they go solid. Willis, good work. They kick to centre half forward. Good work, Alex Brown. Now by hand. Kicks forward in the forward pocket. Thompson. They get it across to Ambrose, to Alex Brown. Shot for goal, and he's got it. They like it, the boys. Good goal, Bombers. Alex Brown. Oh, I think that is. Over the top we go, and now Ambrose can go for a dash. A Sunday afternoon stroll on Frankston Oval. Good he kick. went long and direct inside 50. Good kick. A good passage of play will result in yet another shot on goal for the Bombers and Carl, sorry, Kyle Hardingham. It's a pretty tight angle and the bent leg as he kicked it, but that's okay. It's a goal. Good work for the Dons there by McLeod. They work in the middle. Ambrose marks, quick handball. They go forward. It was Freezer, kicks in and mark taken for the Dons in the goal square. As close as you will. Sean McKernan kicks that right through the middle. 
taking the mark was Tagliabu for the Bombers. Goes over the top. That one's okay. Polkinghorn gave it off to the runner. Inside 50 for Essendon once more. Bouncing ball. Muller lurking again. Ball spilt out for Thompson. Escaped a couple and kicked another one. Right. Lovely throw in by the umpire. He's hurled that halfway home. Thompson again to O'Brien. Comes back to O'Brien. They've got to be quick. They feed the ball out wide. Snap for goal. And that's another one. Good work. Fantasia spins out of the pack. Backpedalling. Now Coglin kicks to the goal. Square needs. Oh, Shane Warne would have been happy with that one. That was a leg break. Must admit, Crooksy, I'd like to see the whistle blown right now just to clean it up a little bit, but play goes on. Brown, high ball towards the square. Oh, Tipping Woody's got space. Picks up. Needs to get around the tackler. Spin around onto his left and oh, goes in board well unselfishly. Done. And Sammy Tagliabu. We've spoken a fair bit about it today. That's why he is the distributor. Left foot ball from Sam Tagliabu is good. Ball thrown in. 40 metres around from the Bombers' goal. They're forcing the ball forward, and that was a cheeky little kick there. The uh, potential of winning a flag for the Bombers at this level and just how beneficial that will be for both parties at AFL and VFL level. Tipping Woody got the hand pass out. Here they go again. It's McLeod inside 50 to the one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, a boy, perfectly go. weighted ball. Connor McKenna runs in and kicks another one. Go. Big Muller versus Hammond. Nice work by Ashby. Kicks it up. Just in front of the Essendon goal. Here a whistle. And it is an advantage. And that is Jacob Thompson. For the AFL boys at had Stadium. Here's Heppel. Underground handball. Will find Coglin. That's a weave his way through three. Dolphins though. Oh, Quick snap from Willis. He's good. Toward the square. But Bassanak mark for Frankson. Over the top. Sorosinski. Got uh, Good just mark to the bombers. Picked off there by Patrick Ambrose. Shot on goal coming up. Margin before the kick, 81 points. 89 points, I should say. You can make that 95. Frankston have got the numbers. This is fraught with danger. Coglin, oh yeah, paid it. Good mark. Kicked a cross goal there to a, to a contest. Coglin comes in. Left foot. I like the look of it off the boot. Straight through the middle. Bombers to beat. McKenna out the back. A Lovely. chipper pass for Thompson. Man on the marks on 50. Thompson not really considering a shot. Lost the one load on the left and go for the square. He hasn't got the distance. Oh. It's marked on the line by Kyle Hardingham for a goal in every quarter. There you go. Queen Elizabeth Oval. Sensational ground. Oh, look at that lovely handball by Sammy T to Aaron Heppel on the tear. Textbook 101. And that is all she wrote here on Essendon VFL Radio. The final score will show the Bombers 25-14, 164, defeated Frankston 7-9, 51.